our effort is not stopping there. We continue to innovate in order to continue to excel at what people want. And one of the things that people want is we want more battery life. And one of the things which is impacting our battery life is the screen, which consumes so much power. So in order to show it, let me show you what can we do and how can we save power on the screen. Hi, Corey. Good morning, Billy. How are you doing? Live and kicking. All right. Three minutes to go. What All are you right, show here us? We go. Well, we've got here are two identically configured systems. The only difference between these two systems is the system on your left is using a traditional LVDS panel. It's a traditional screen that people are using today. Absolutely. The system on the right is using an EDP 1.3 panel, which includes this new technology called panel self refresh. So this is the power self refresh. Yes. This is the traditional, but I don't see any difference. Between yes. The two. What's really happening on this system on the right is that this image that you see right here, the static image of the desktop, is actually being shown from memory on the panel electronics itself, whereas the system on your left is showing this image using system memory waking the CPU up 60 times a second just to show this image that's not changed. So actually, when I put the static system over here, yep. the CPU is actually asleep and yep. the self-refresh is working in the screen itself, letting the CPU and the rest of the system do this. What will show us what you can do with this? Well, what I want to draw your attention to first is the power. So the power savings that you get when you have these um, storing the image statically is going to be about 500 milliwatts between the LVDS system. 500 and milliwatts between the self-refresh and the static. If you I speak about also book kind of a solution notebook, how much time can be translated to? You're probably talking 45 minutes to maybe an hour, depending on the exact. 45 hour minutes or hour, if we'll be able to move together with our partners from the traditional panels to the self-refresh panels. Yep. What would you show us? Let me just show you a quick uh, demo of how this works. So what I'm going to do is launch off a slideshow right here. So what's going on right here is every time the image is static, we're in panel self-refresh, and you can see the LEDs are green. <laughs> Whenever the image changes, you'll notice the LEDs went red. So now the CPU is asleep, wake yep. up, yep. woke up, refresh, went to sleep again. Yep, so you get all the power savings. Sleeping, good nap, woke up. Absolutely. Now, how can you persuade the audience? I know these guys for years. There are many skeptics over here. How can you persuade them that this is really self refresh and it's had nothing to do with the CPU? Well, what I'm going to do is I just pause the slideshow so that we stay in self refresh. Now we've got this steady yep, picture. Yep, static right? picture. Right. We're staying right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach around and actually pull out the display cable and prove to you this image is going to stay close. Slowly, so the camera will be able to capture it. Yes. And there we go. And now we've the got this panel not connected to the PC. You can still see the picture, self-refresh, and mouse. that's how I we can get 450 milliwatts improvement. We really need to work together in order to make it the standard in the industry, and I've got confidence that in two, less than two years, this will be the new standard. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. But I believe many of you heard a lot.